It's now to our continuing coverage and a progress report for you tonight on the Front Range Rail Project. Travelers and commuters in Colorado could soon have the option of taking a train rather than driving up and down I-25. The state legislature passed a bill this session that will create a new Front Range Passenger Rail District. That is important. News 5's Andy Cohen explains what this measure does to help make the rail line a reality. Instead of this, commuters and travelers in Colorado could soon board one of these. If folks are driving on I-25 and a tractor trailer wrecks, uh, it doesn't matter how many lanes you have, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come to a crawl. The Front Range Passenger Rail District will have the power to build and run a new rail service. It's the closest to reality I think we've been in a long time when it comes to the conversation around Front Range Rail. And thanks to the work of the Southwest Chief and Front Range Passenger Rail Commission, Colorado is in a great position to benefit from federal infrastructure spending. When Amtrak's leaders announced their multi-billion dollar expansion plan this April, they said Colorado's project is at the top of their list. The Colorado Front Range Corridor is the number one corridor on their priority list in the United States. And it's because we've laid so much of the groundwork. The district will have the power to raise taxes and borrow money, with voter approval, of course. But simply having the structure in place gives the state the ability to receive these federal funds when they're available. So if we can be on the forefront of this in Colorado, have our district set up, ready to go, when and if this money is available, we can act on it faster and really finally make this a reality. Expanding transportation options and improving economic opportunity. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thanks. The district will be run by an eight-member appointed board, which should be in place by next April. Board members will be selected from various geographical areas served by that rail line. We'll keep you posted.